Today I'm going to go over creating a pattern of standard holes using a point pattern and how to avoid duplicate instances and misalignment issues. Here I have a sketch of points in the model on an inclined plane and I'm going to go ahead and create a standard hole. We'll switch to standard mode and change the size so that it's a little bit bigger. I'll finish the hole feature and what you'll notice is that the bottom of the hole has a tapered end point to it because the standard holes are revolve features behind the scenes as opposed to simple holes which are straight extrude features. So we'll go ahead and create a pattern of the standard hole and we'll change the pattern type to point and then next select on the sketch feature with the points to use for the pattern. What you'll notice near the lead instance is that there appears to be two dots indicating a duplicate instance will be created. To verify this, we'll finish the point pattern. And next, we'll orient this surface normal to the screen. And we'll unhide the sketch to take a look at the pattern and the alignment issues. So this is the lead instance here. Let's zoom in on that, and we should see two holes. As you can see, it looks a little oblong, and there are two axes here. If we zoom back out and check out another instance what you'll notice is the point is right here and the axis is right here. So they're not exactly aligned with the points in the sketch. The reason for this is that, again, as I mentioned before, the standard holes are revolved features and the pattern leader outline center is not an approximate location in some situations, such as this one where the holes are placed on an inclined plane. For simple holes, which are extrudes, the pattern leader outline center is coincident with the reference point and will not present an issue such as this. So the best practice to create the pattern of standard holes when using a point pattern is to define an alternate origin. We'll go back in and edit definition of the pattern and enter the options field in the dashboard. Here you'll notice there's a use alternate origin option. We can enable that and select on a point. So we'll zoom in to the origin location and we'll select the desired point here. What you'll notice now is there is no duplicate instance here. We'll finish the pattern feature and again orient this normal to the screen. And then we can zoom in. Let's check the lead instance first. Everything is aligned as desired. And let's check a secondary one. So you can see here the point is aligned with the axis of the hole exactly and this produces the desired pattern effect.